Jordan Simone joins us now at the CAZ Sports Bar as we get ready for the start of spring football for ASU. I think we should call this Guac Talk. Man. You know? Have fun. I might have to get in here, yeah. Yeah, we'll just do Guac Talk. All right, so in all seriousness, as you dip it, you got a drink over there. Um, what are you most intrigued with in spring football other than the three freshman quarterbacks coming in? Well, I think you look at Eno Benjamin first, the leading rusher in Arizona State history in a single season, you know, coming off a 1,600-yard season, which is so impressive. And you look at the line first, and you have a lot of guys coming back. You have Cole Cabral, who did not choose to go to the NFL. He thought he about it. He definitely thought about it. Yeah. It, would, it would have been a good decision. I think he would have done well. Um, but to have him back for another year, and then you have some other key pieces, um, that's what I immediately look at. That's where my attention goes. Also goes to the defense. You look at the defense and all the all the success that these young guys had. How can they handle the, the success coming into their sophomore year? You always hear about sophomore slump. That is going to be their biggest challenge. And I think with Antonio Pierce at the helm, a guy that's been through it, been in the Super Bowl, has a Super Bowl ring, uh, is going to be very beneficial for those young kids. Jordan Simone, sideline broadcaster, former Sun Devil on the field with us here at the CAZ. Is it too early to be doing spring football? It's insane. I can't. I can't believe that they're coming back this early. Obviously, there is a reason that they're doing it. I think, um, you know, they just want to get back on the field and not have those kids go home and, and kind of forget some of those things that they've learned throughout the year. So I can see why the coaches are doing it, but if I was a junior and just went through a whole year and then you come back right into football, man, your body's still a little bit beat up. So mm. it'd be interesting to see, you know, how much they go full pads and if how much contact there is or if they're just going to be having them in the room, studying film and, and just continuing to learn. Okay, let's break down the quarterbacks. Fans have heard, you've heard, we haven't seen yet on the quarterback front all these guys that are coming in. Dylan Sterling Cole's the only returner. How are they going to determine the guy? Should they determine the guy out of camp? Yeah, it's going to be really difficult because you have four quarterbacks that all have a legit chance at starting day one, and we haven't had a freshman, a true freshman start at quarterback ever in the history of Arizona State's program. So if one of those three kids is going to step up, they're going to have to do it early, and they're going to have to take command of the team. From what I've heard and what I've studied, it sounds like Joey Yellen. It sounds like he is the most prepared to come in. And then you have um, you know, Jaden Daniels, obviously, who's another kid that is just freakish. He's a freakish talent. Can he mature fast and become the leader that the team needs. That's what I'll be looking for. If these quarterbacks all stay together, Jordan, they're not going to take a quarterback next year. And there's some very talented quarterbacks in this state, but ASU is set up to either be all in and not take a quarterback, or they may be scrambling. A couple of these kids may say enough if they don't get the job in spring, I believe. Yeah, yeah I 100%. That is the way that quarterbacks are in today's college football if you're not playing transfer somewhere else where you might have a chance and if one of these freshmen takes a job at the beginning you might see the two others bounce in the spring next year or you know take a year off and go to another school so it'll be interesting I think you know if I'm Dylan Sterling Cole I'm kind of upset right now because this he's thinking this is my time this is my quarterback room this is this is my team I've sat behind Manny I've watched him and I've heard that he's already dropped about 15 pounds um, which is really good for his speed so it'll be interesting. I mean, it's going to be a complete quarterback competition. And as a, as a media person now, I'm really looking forward to getting out there and really watching them. Good stuff with Jordan Simone here at the CAZ.